Hello, and welcome to this training film about the correct procedure for performing a cannulation on a patient. Expiry dates, allergies, and local policy must be checked when gathering equipment. In order to carry out the procedure, you will require the following to be prepared as per aseptic non-touch technique, ANTT guidelines. You will need Use of sterile cannulation pack is best practice. Gloves, different sizes of cannula, dedicated clean tray or prepared area, 70% alcohol cleansing wipe to prepare skin as per local policy, tourniquet, sharp bin, dressing, 5ml syringe, 0.9% sodium chloride, apron. By being prepared, this can reduce delays in the procedure and the need to leave the patient, improve patient confidence, reduce risk of infection, and breaks in asepsis. Before you start the procedure, you should complete the following. Identify the patient, explain the procedure, ask patient if they have any allergies or concerns, check if topical, local anesthetic is required, which will need to be applied up to 60 minutes in advance of procedure. Check patient has followed any pre-test requirements. Ask if patient has any questions. Gain informed consent. When identifying the patient, this will vary depending on the area you work as not all patients will wear a patient ID bracelet. Assemble the equipment. Take the equipment to the patient. If the patient is nervous, try to position in reach of you but out of the sight of the patient. Inspect potential cannulation sites for possible contraindications. Identify non-dominant side where possible. Wash your hands using the six-step technique. During this time, check your hands for any broken areas which will require being covered with a waterproof dressing. Apply a tourniquet approximately five to 10 centimeters above cannulation site. Assist the patient to the position appropriately if unable to do so themselves. Identify and palpate vein. Ensure patient is comfortable with arm supported on a pillow. The tourniquet should not be in place for longer than 60 seconds. Palpate the vein by aligning your finger in the direction of the vein and gently stroking or pressing. Selecting a suitable vein based on characteristics mentioned in the course this assessment of the vein will reduce potential damage to vein by supporting or changing cannula size selection. Release tourniquet. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique. Open equipment packaging. Place sterile towel under the patient's arm. Reapply tourniquet. Put on gloves before preparing patient's skin. Prepare the patient's skin as per local policy, wiping gently in a back and forth motion for 30 seconds. Allow to dry for 30 seconds. Do not repalpate or touch the skin after the skin is prepared. Remove the cap from the needle. You need to inspect the needle for defects and to ensure the bevel of the needle is upwards during insertion. Anchor vein below the site of insertion. Depth of angle will depend on vein size and depth, approximately 10 to 45 degrees. Wait for first flashback in the chamber. Level the cannula by decreasing the angle, advancing cannula slightly into the vein, but not the needle. Withdraw slightly and wait for second flashback of blood to be seen. Maintaining slight pressure with your non-dominant hand, slowly advance the cannula into the vein. Release the tourniquet. Apply digital pressure to the vein above the cannula tip and remove needle. Discard needle into sharps bin. Applying and removing the dressing. Place tapes to secure cannula. Place adhesive side of dressing over the cannula. Overlap soft tape section under the cannula port. Remove the frame of the dressing, ensuring a smooth edge.
place date label on the dressing. Administer flush of 0.9% sodium chloride to assess and maintain patency. Observing patient during and after for signs of pain, swelling or leaking. Based on your assessment, the dressing may need to be removed as per manufacturer's guidance and reapplied. Ensure patient is comfortable and answer any questions they may have. Remove gloves and apron discarding in clinical waste bin. Wash hands with bacterial hand rub or using six step hand washing technique. Ensure all records are completed correctly within local policy. Remove the dressing. Slowly and close to the skin, remove the date label and peel back the overlapping soft taped end. You may need to apply pressure and stretch the dressing to remove. Carefully remove securing strips whilst holding the cannula in place. Once procedure is complete, have low linting gauze in preparation to remove cannula. Place over the cannula without pressure until the cannula is fully removed. Ask patient to apply pressure directly over puncture site for about one minute or until bleeding stops. Support patient if unable to do so themselves. Once removed, place cannula in Sharp's bin. Assess puncture site before applying a dressing. Apply a dressing as per local policy and allergies. Ensure all records are completed correctly within local policy.